cutting through the waters of Plymouth Sound without any human control. The Mayflower 400 is completely autonomous, with an artificially intelligent computer in charge, and it's about to navigate 3,000 miles across some of the world's busiest shipping lanes to America. With satellite maps of nearby ships and six onboard cameras, it can spot hazards and steer around them. So it's looking at all those positions, and then it's scanning 12 miles around with its radar, and then it's looking with its cameras, and it's fusing. It's like, okay, that is a radar contact, and that's a picture of the thing I see on the radar, and it's got a beacon on it that I can see through my satellites that says it's this kind of ship and it's going this fast in this direction. And then using the radar and the cameras, it sort of validates that. It's like, yep, that's that ship, and it is doing what it says it's doing. I have to turn or speed up or slow down so that I obey the rules and cross the right way. Without humans on board, there's no need for bunks, toilets or a kitchen. It's pure machine. In future, even cargo vessels are likely to have an artificially intelligent captain that takes over out at sea. But this is a marine research ship. The ocean covers 70% of the planet, but just 5% has been explored. It's so vast that much of it is beyond the reach of scientists until now. Inside the hull, robotic instruments will test the seawater. Climate change is making the oceans warmer and more acidic, putting marine life under pressure. Plankton, the bottom of the food chain, will be monitored, and the ship will also listen to whales to gauge how many there are in the open ocean. The ocean impacts us all far more than we may even realise. You know, it's not just the food that we eat, it's, it's our travel, our trade, um, and above all, it's our climate as well. The ocean regulates our planet to a huge extent. It also produces half of the oxygen that we breathe, so it is, it's hugely vital. We really need to, to up our game to start to have innovation like this and take advantage of the technology that's out there now. It should take around a fortnight to cross the Atlantic, 400 years ago, the original Mayflower took early settlers to America. Its namesake is another pioneer, sailing the seas on its own to check the health of the ocean. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Plymouth.